good day, people of YouTube. What's going on? My name is AK, and I am presenting you with yet another Pure Farming 2018 gameplay video. This is the preview, and it looks like this might be the final episode of our preview series of this game, because later today, these preview codes are going to be deactivated. I got an email from the one of the representatives of the publishers, and yeah, the preview code is going to implode on itself. So... Yeah, this will be the last video, but there's some good news. Um, apparently they're going to be replaced with review codes. So, those review codes are going to be sent out, apparently it looks like a day before the game launches. Which kind of has me a bit annoyed, but it is what it is. It's at least nice that uh, we're going to be getting the new version. And if you watched the last video, the one with the Reddit AMA discussion, you would know that this the new version of the game is going to have a f few changes and a few improvements that they've been working on since they sent out this preview code last month, which is February. So yeah, I'm very happy to see the developers have uh, kept their promise and they're going to be delivering those changes, but I'm a bit annoyed that they're doing it right before release. So I'm going to have to play the game the day before release. Um, extensively just so I could absorb all of those new changes and uh, base my opinions on that rather than basing my opinions on the uh, faults I've found with this preview version. I knew it wasn't the complete version but still I was hoping those changes would have been released like I said sooner but anyway it is what it is so I'm not gonna have the game for like nearly a week but that's fine now, here's the thing. I recorded this video just a couple of minutes ago, but all of it was only footage and game audio. There was no microphone audio because I did not turn the mic on. And I just realized I didn't turn the mic on. <laughs> so, I spent all that time recording. I was liking the way it turned out. Then I managed to look down and see, oh, my microphone is not on. So, I was talking to myself for somewhere in the realm of 15-20 minutes. <laughs> More or less, because everything I said just, just rendered in silence, because the microphone was off. So yeah, that's fun. But thankfully, uh, we still have another field to harvest, because that entire video was done in the rain, and it just stopped raining. Wow, look at that. I was going to title this video Working in the Rain, but now it stopped raining. And it was raining for, like I said, 20 or so real world minutes. So it just stopped raining. So I can't tell this video Working in the Rain anymore. That's sad. But yeah, we, we harvested that entire field over there, cultivated it. I just dropped our load off. And I was going to end the video there only to see that hey my microphone is off so now we get to do it all over again well anyway yeah more gameplay time right and since this is going to be like the final episode of the preview series then hey why not so let's jump back over to our combine here and ah uh, that was such a rookie mistake to make all right so let's go ahead and get right back to work yeah, that intensity seems fine. So yeah, guys. I've done all this. <laughs> all that work for nothing. Like that That's gonna have me bugged for the rest of the video. <laughs> At least I got some footage that I could use in the video review, perhaps. But... Yes, it's not completely wasted. But still. I... I'm still flabbergasted that I managed to record all that it didn't have the mic on. You know, like, sometimes you'd see in, like, instances where videos are being recorded, it's usually where, like, if someone, it, whether it's a video recording or someone's streaming, usually they, they tend to leave, like, the camera on or the mic on, and as a result, it ends up recording something that shouldn't be there. I did the opposite, where it didn't, just didn't have it on. I didn't leave it on, I just didn't have it on in the first place. How amazing. Wow. <laughs> But yeah, it's whatever. Now I'm just trying to remember what I talked about beforehand so I could reiterate the points that I was going to make originally. But yeah, I did mention how I'm annoyed that the developers waited 
to release this brand new version of the game, but I guess they must have been working on it this whole time. And now they're just getting down to the final parts, because again, the game's about to be released in just a couple more days, so... Now that could be a reason, but I was really hoping that they would provide... Oh, we started to... Back up. Alright. But I was about to say, um... Yeah, it seems like, uh, yeah, the developers just waited to get it out this time. Maybe they've been working on it this whole time. But it would have been nice to have it earlier, just so we could have some more time to really take, like I said, take in that new version of the game. But I'm excited to see what all has changed, because like I said, I've noticed a few things, some things that I don't like. I made the whole entire video on the Columbia map, talking about the cons that I have. And those cons really haven't changed, even though it's been a, a few days since then. So I'm hoping that with that new version, you know, there will be some real changes and improvements made. But we'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do another one of these gameplay videos with that newer version. So I'll be busy trying to get everything done for the review, so I don't know if I may, if I do it, it may be after the review, or I'll try and get one done right before, but we will see. But as for right now, at least you can enjoy this. But uh, from these last couple of weeks I've been playing the game, I have to say, like, you know, it is a very enjoyable experience. Um, it's not a perfect simulator, it's not a perfect game in general, but... As I mentioned in the Japan episode, you know, with games these days, we have patches and updates. So, if there's something that you don't like about a game, give it a few weeks, give it a few months, and chances are it may be fixed or changed. If it's a genuine flaw, you know, sometimes it may just be a design of the game. But in, th in this case, you know, it's just a couple of flaws. I can turn the lights off here. Sun is coming back up. But one of the things I really do like is just the visuals. Like, it's so visually pleasing. Like, the details of the models are so good. And just so many little effects that they have going on here. It's kind of taxing. We'll see if the performance improves in that update. But it's definitely very taxing. Because I can run... Uh, Farm Simulator 17 at 60 FPS, 1080p, but I can't get the same performance here. Because it's a much more, uh, or I shouldn't say much more, but it's just a more advanced game, visually speaking. But Farm Simulator 19 is going to have a graphics overall, so we'll see if it can look as good as this. Because I do think this is a pretty good looking game. It's one of the things that I really enjoy about it. And gameplay-wise, you know, some improvements can be made, but they've done a good job here so far. Okay, the farming experience here is just as enjoyable as it is in the OG FS17. It's not too bad. But um, my one of the other points I talked about in that recording that didn't happen is uh, like you know I've really enjoyed um, sharing my gameplay experience with you guys. You know, making the the style of videos something I've never really done before. Like I've done it like as like a one-off type of thing with um, American Truck Simulator and Spin Tires. And Descenders, I just did Descenders right before I did this. But I turned this into like an entire series and I decided to just do it simply because I've been watching a lot of Daggerwin and Squirrel and I enjoy those types of videos. So I said, hey, we have this new simulator, why don't I try making that type of content? And it has gotten a lot more attention than I thought it would have. Now if you go and look at those view counters right now, as like at the time this is being recorded, and it better be recorded, <laughs> or else I'll have two videos that weren't recorded, but yeah. But, um, if you look at those view counters now, at the time of this recording, um, you'd see that it's only been a couple hundred views, which isn't a lot at all, but, uh, it's more than what I was expecting. I Because if you look at any of the other gameplay videos that I've done, they've gotten far less than these, so... <laughs> I'm happy to have seen it gotten 
that these videos have gotten some attention. You know, a couple hundred people have watched them, and for those of you who've genuinely been enjoying them, thank you for tuning in. And hopefully this may become a thing again, even after release, we'll see, because this is just something I'm doing for fun. I don't have to do it. I just, just wanted to do it just to try it out. So I'll see if I have the time. I may just continue it. I haven't fully decided yet. But regardless, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the continuation of this video because we're not done yet. <laughs> I nearly went into the sign off and I was like, hey, wait, this video isn't finished yet. <laughs> yeah, just thank you for watching. If you've watched all the episodes and if you've just stumbled upon this episode, thank you for tuning in anyway. If you like what you see here, go watch the rest when this one actually is completed. But yeah, I just was reminded about another point that I had made is that uh, with this preview build of the game, I really want to see if they're going to like reset everything because Spin Tires kind of did the same thing where we got a preview code and then right before release the game was updated to a more stable, more recent version. And it totally reset my save data, so I put a couple hours into that game, and if you watch my review, you, you know that I mentioned that Spin Towers is very frustrating. It's a very time-consuming game. And so when my save data was reset, I almost didn't want to play it again, because I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going through all that again. Because it's not like a very linear game, so your experience is fundamentally kind of different every time you play it, in a way. And I was just thinking to myself, like, there's no way I'm playing that game all, all over again. But I did, with the newer version. I was annoyed by it, but I did it anyway, because I wanted to do a proper review. So I'm hoping that when this retail version of Pure Farming, when we get those new codes, um, everything is in, like, 100% reset. Now my green tank isn't really full, so... Let me go switch to that tractor, I believe it's this one. It might be. Or might not be. Oh, it is. Okay, we picked the right one. Ooh, it is hard to turn with this trailer. It's such a big trailer. Alright. Let's make our way back to the harvester. That was the old trailer. I tried to park it next to the wall and ended up clipping onto the wall, so that's... looks kind of tacky, but hey, whatever. He's fine. I'm sure it doesn't hurt that much. I'm really hoping that they preserve the save data. It may not happen. I mean, if I have to start all over again, fine, but I really don't want to. I would love it if everything stays the same, and then I could just jump right back into this play session but with all the new changes and improvements from, from the new version. And I'm trying to see why this isn't letting me empty. I want to empty the tank. What are you doing? <laughs> it like started, it had to start itself twice just to do that. I didn't even touch anything. Okay, weird. Quite weird, but all right. Now we have to move the tractor out of the way. Another thing I'm hoping that they implement is if they let you leave the engine running. Like, it's not really a big deal, but that's one of the things I like in FS17, that you could manually turn the engines on and off. Let's just move this trailer out of the way. Let's walk back over to the harvester. Man, our harvester got really dirty. Swivel and... This fence is in the way. One of the things I would like to see them implement is placeable objects. I do like having that feature in FS17 because you can like change the layout of a map completely. 
but those tools are currently not available here in Pure Farming. So, there we go. Our field has been completely harvested. We can turn the harvesting mechanism and whatnot off. Let's go back to our trailer. And dump it. Come on. Alright, we're gonna have to mess with this thing again. <laughs> Just inch forward. A little bit. Until it starts. Is it gonna start here? No. Doesn't start there. Not there. <laughs> okay, we're starting just a second. Oh my goodness, this is frustrating. <laughs> Why are you being so difficult? Come on! Just stop the thing, man! Behold, a glitch that needs to be fixed in that retail release, guys. Okay, you know what? I'm not messing with this. It's only 50 pounds. Let's just back it up here. Move you out of the way. Yeah, let's put you on the hill. Yeah, you're fine. That might actually be a good screenshot. I don't know. We'll come back to it. Alright, we're gonna set a waypoint. Now... Let's go to Grain Warehouse 2. What? You're all the way up there? I guess it could serve as a map tour. Yeah, let's go with that, guys. Let's try that. I could just uh, do a time lapse. Just uh, so you don't have to sit through the entire thing. Let's jump into the cockpit view. And yeah, let's go into map tour mode. Alright, here we are. That was a very long drive. <laughs> but then again, we were going so slow. Jump into the external cam here and... Need to make sure that button prompt comes up. Nope, not yet. Oh, there we go. Alright. Made $1,531. Huh, not a lot at all. But... We did get a nice scenic view. It's a little treehouse up here. Yes, I know I'm goofing off, but I just want to see if we can actually climb up this ladder. No, we cannot. It's just for show. Disappointing. 
All right, so I'm hop back into the tractor. And let me show you, hopefully this works, how easy it is to fast travel. Yep, that's how easy it is to fast travel, my goodness. Just teleport. It costs you a bit of money, but I mean, so easy. All right. Now, I can just quickly take the cultivator over this other field, but kind of don't have to because, again, we're about to be kicked out. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is the end of the line. They don't want us here anymore. It's over. We're done. Finito. But what I can do is at least move the harvester off this hill. But honestly, guys, I would like to thank you for watching this far. Um, it's been a joy. And again, I'm going to see if I'll make another video once that new version is released. But there won't be any more uploads after this one for a couple of days. Because again, these codes are going to be disabled. So there's nothing I can do about that. But if you have watched every single episode, thank you so much. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below and tell me what you've thought of it all. What are you hope, uh, hope, looking forward to seeing from the full retail release of Pure Farming 2018? But until next time, guys, it's been real. Please check us out over at GamingEnthusiast.net for all of our features, reviews, news, all that good stuff. And also check out our sister websites at Nintendo, PlayStation, and Xbox Enthusiasts. And if you've enjoyed listening to my stupid voice this whole time, Check me out on my YouTube channel at Extreme Azure Productions. Alright. And wow, that was going to be such a graceful outro. <laughs>